Hello everyone, this is Kalyan Karmakar here and uh, how's the Monday going uh, for you? I hope you guys have a great uh, week. This is the start of the week. It's a fairly significant one because it seems like across the country uh, the lockdown is being relaxed in uh, various formats including in uh, Mumbai. Uh, I must tell you that uh, since we have the opportunity of uh, working from home, uh, we are going to stay as much at home as, as possible. and. Uh, and I thought that I'll come and do a Foodocracy India broadcast to you. For folks who've caught this before, you probably know Foodocracy India and what it is. It is my hashtag which I use to talk about uh, uh, eateries uh, across the country, whether it's street food, restaurants, cafes, fine dining, which, which give us a lot of pleasure. And it's wonderful to know that uh, many of them are now coming back to uh, business. And, and it's going to be a tough time. Uh, for people but we should all be in it together and remember that while the lockdown has been lift lifted uh, the corona uh, virus is still very much there so please uh, keep all all precautions uh, while there but but it's uh, best wishes to all uh, restaurant owners eateries everyone who's opening or who are planning to opening in the uh, next few days um, so this is going to be a broadcast and i'm going to share this later which is why i not, might not be able to answer all questions or, or comments acknowledged at this point but some of you are saying hi to baby loaf my cat he just woke up so we've just uh, uh, fed him and uh, now now we are here and um, i thought of doing up of doing this particular broadcast after lunch um, and we had a very late lunch we ate lunch at about 5 5 30 uh, pm so some part in the world that would be lunch time but definitely not mumbai but let me tell you what i made for lunch today i made uh, fried rice and and chili chicken so um, if, if you are from Calcutta, uh, as I am, I've grown up there, though I live in Mumbai now, then chili chicken, fried rice and hakka noodles are like uh, as traditional uh, dishes as they could if, if you're someone who's grown up in uh, Calcutta in the 80s or, or 90s and they seem to be a big part of uh, Kolkata Chinese. Uh, the one which I make is not really uh, Kolkata Chinese though. In fact, in fact, uh, when I go to Calcutta now, and if I order uh, chili chicken or chili pork, I find it to be a bit dif different from what we cook at home. So mine is uh, sort of inspired by what my mom uh, used to cook. And, and once again, guys, uh, this broadcast which I do for Foodocracy India is using Instagram Live, but I'm going to uh, host it uh, later on IGTV and uh, YouTube if, if you've been busy or, or you want to catch it later. So I'm very sorry I might not be able to answer all your comments, but I'll try to do it uh, later. Today I'm going to talk about a restaurant called Frank's in Jamshedpur and let me tell you why I'm talking about it. So I made chili chicken and fried rice this afternoon and a and lot of memories of uh, my mom's kitchen in Calcutta because when we moved into Calcutta in the 1980s, early 80s um, and, and I was born in England then we lived in Iran and we moved to Calcutta and I was about six or seven years old. I was quite a fussy eater and I would refuse to eat Indian food or, or uh, uh, or even Bengali food. So my mom would have to make uh, noodles for me, fried rice, Spanish omelets, fish and chips, chicken and chips. I was quite the uh, spoiled kid and I want to spoil baby loaf just as much. So she used to make chili chicken and fried rice uh, for me and of course as I grew up and after my dad passed away, I, uh, one got more used to, uh, had to eat Indian food or Bengali food. But uh, And now I've grown to like it. But uh, these dishes which is chili chicken, fried rice, Hakka noodles, they are all my favorites and um, and today I also cooked for some friends of ours who uh, who've been giving us a lot of wonderful food during the lockdown and I thought that let me um, uh, sort of uh, cook for them and which is my I made vegetarian fried rice because the parents are vegetarian, the boys eat chicken but they're Punjabi so I had to make boneless chili chicken for them and on the bone uh, for Kanaz and me because we love that and we uh, had our lunch at 5.30. Now for all of us who've grown up in Calcutta, chili chicken fried rice is uh, a big part of our growing up here, especially if you've grown up in the 80s, 90s. My mom, though, was already making it in the early 80s because my dad had learnt it from his patient. Uh, he was my dad was a doctor in the UK, and uh, as the story goes, and and uh, the patient ran a Chinese restaurant, and and my dad apparently picked up the cooking technique from there. Now these are all uh, you know family stories. I can't vouch for it, and my mom learnt it from him, and and uh, my mom used to make it for us and still makes it for us and sometimes is cooking it for herself when she's alone in the lockdown. So the chili chicken and uh, fried rice which I make is very different from what I've eaten in Calcutta restaurants now. So it, it lacks excessive salt, it lacks MSG, it lacks uh, corn flour coating, it's not deep fried and it doesn't give me heartburn which 
uh, some of the ch Chinese and Calcutta restaurants unfortunately do. But let's forget that. Uh, the bigger aspect is how important this Indo-Chinese, or so to speak, has become in our lives. So um, when we went to Calcutta in the 1980s, we were one of the earlier households to have Chinese food being cooked there. And, and of course, we go to places like Jimmy's Kitchen and New Cathay and Waldorf and, and Pippin uh, in Park Street to have Chinese food. And then in the mid-1980s, some of my classmates in school uh, would get Chinese uh, noodles and all that for tiffin made by their moms. And it would have aloo bhaja in it, tomato ketchup in it. But I had one friend who uh, I think his parents had lived in Germany for a bit. So his mom made a chili chicken, uh, which was a bit like uh, mine. And, uh, and, and that's the chili chicken which I make. And, and you can see the recipe for that uh, on my Instagram stories. I'll put it on YouTube as well. But uh, today's podcast uh, in, in Foodocracy India, where I speak to you about uh, small uh, eateries, little known eateries, which are very popular where they exist and among its uh, audiences and customers, but might not be that well known. And, and the idea is to bring their stories uh, up above. And with the lockdown getting slowly relaxed, I'm sure they're all going to get back. And I'm talking today of a place called Frank's in, in Jamshedpur. I'd been to Jamshedpur recently, last November. I'd gone there in my MBA days, uh, you know, when I was trying to get admission in XLRI. Obviously, didn't get through, so which is why my next trip was uh, last November when I'd gone to cover the Tata Samwad Tribal Festival. And uh, when I landed at Jamshedpur and reached uh, after the long drive from Rachi and, and finally settled down into the hotel at night, and, and I asked around uh, people and said that where should I go for uh, dinner? And I was by myself. And quite a few people said, go to Frank's. Uh, and I said, what do you get in Frank's? So they said Chinese. So I was wondering that, you know, Jamshedpur and why will I go to Jamshedpur and have Chinese food? And I mean, I live in Mumbai, which is the home of Lynx Pavilion. I travel all over. But, but these are friends whom I trusted. So I, I decided to uh, go there. So I, I sort of uh, took a shower and everything in the hotel, uh, refreshed myself. Uh, walk down and and this is an area called Vishtupur and Jamshedpur which is also where the disco uh, plant is I think the other big place in Jamshedpur is Sakchi I, I didn't get to go there uh, this time in my trip so I, uh, so I got out of the hotel at 8 30 because I think it said uh, in in Zomato and Swiggy that they take the last order at 10 o'clock at, at Frank's so I decided to walk down at about nine o'clock the road seemed empty at that time and and very big and very clean and and I followed Google Maps and, and then reached this place which almost seemed like a cow gully. So there were stalls selling uh, ch you know, chicken roll, egg roll, momo, uh, all of that, uh, ch chicken lollipops. And then there was this building uh, on which Frank's was written. Now when you see it from outside, uh, it looks very much like those uh, public sector banks of the 1980s, the branches, you know, the Bank of Baroda, State Bank sort of place where, if you remember, there would be coir mat stuck outside with water down it to cool it because there was no air conditioning so it looked like that uh, very unimpressive uh, just one sort of house and Frank's written on it and, and dimly lit and and there was no sign of any life but uh, by then it was about 9 30 and I didn't really have uh, uh, options around so I said no I need to go in and eat so I walked into Frank's and, and there was a small little entrance to the building um, and, and I walked in and I opened the door and uh, I must say that I was a bit faced by what I saw because it seemed it seemed that I've been transported into suburban Calcutta of the early 1980s. In fact, there was a restaurant called Bindushri uh, or Bindushri in in Gorya in suburban Calcutta, and and sometimes we used to go there in the you know mid 1980s for uh, Mughlai or Chinese and all that. And it looked like that, so it was dark. It was uh, I think it was air conditioned. That the tables were very Spartan. Um, uh, there, there was not, no one Chinese around, there were only Indians and only Bengali, so no one of Chinese origin. And um, it, it seemed like it was not, a, not an alcoholic place, so no bar or whatever. But I, uh, there were mixed crowds, so there were some Bengali families in one corner. It looked like a group of business associates, office people. Uh, there were some, uh, you know, women as well, children as well. So it was, it was very quiet, no music. And uh, now the thing is that this is my first trip of Jamshedpur and uh, to eat. Like I said, I'd gone there before, uh, almost 20, 25 years back. I didn't know much about uh, Frank's and I was, and this is a Chinese place, not even like Mughlai or, you know, Liti Choka or, or uh, Punjabi. So I didn't know what to expect. But 
I didn't have time. It was already nine forty-five, and they said closing hours is at ten. So I quickly went and took a table. So uh, just beside me, there was this uh, Bengali family uh, sitting there, and very very traditional uh, Bengali family. Um, um, uh, so there were two young boys, uh, and then there was one elderly lady who might be their mom or grandmom, and then one middle-aged uh, lady, and and there was a kid. So it soon seemed like a wait. again a very suburban calcutta sort of uh, family uh, sitting over there and and they place their order uh, you know sweet corn soup one by two fried rice mixed noodles uh, chili chicken this that whatever and then the young boy who was uh, you know giving the order like and i could identify him with him like it was like when i would start working and taking the family out for the first time uh, you know that sort of feeling he had so and and that little bit of confidence which probably his uh, you know elder sister or mom and grand mom who were sitting with him wouldn't have and he was this young man in town uh, in the restaurant so he looked at the waiter and said uh, uh, no pork so then i was thinking that uh, what do i do now i was uh, a lot of people had recommended dishes uh, to eat at franks and my friend devjani banerji from kolkata who works in publishing and and who goes to jamshedpur pretty often and work she says by franks and she told me that look stick to the basics chili pork uh, chili chicken chicken fried rice chicken hakka noodles stick to that so i decided to go for the chili pork but then i was wondering that you know if this is a sort of place where people say no pork then will the pork be fresh and this is the first day of my trip and i'm by myself what if i fall ill and work is got tomorrow and and suddenly all these things started uh, kicking in but then i said that look oops <laughs> sorry my phone fell off so then i said that look uh, let me just put myself in the hands of the gods of food and and eat with full a uh, full confidence than uh, be a bhitu uh, bangali bangali i'd rather be a bhitu bangali i'd rather be a rice loving bangali than a scared bhitu uh, bangali so uh, i the sort of waiter, waiter came to me uh, waiter was uh, indian hindi speaking uh, white shirt black pants uh, slightly elderly and uh, not the most cheerful people of people around very very authentic calcutta <laughs> 80s 90s where the service was not really the most effusive so he came to me and uh, and i said that uh, ek chili pork chahiye aur ek uh, chicken fried rice so he he uh, wrote it down in a pen and paper pad and then i looked at him and said that uh, chili pork sukha tha ya gravy aata is it dry or gravy so he looked at me and said jo chahiye so whatever you want so okay because i wasn't sure like you know uh, roast pork chili pork in what format but i generally like it uh, dry uh, side dishes in fact if, if you grown up in calcutta uh, in the 80s it was all about side dishes whether it's chili chicken chili pork chili fish uh, uh, chili prawns it would always be dry it's only when i came to mumbai that i came this concept of curry and gravy and sauce and whatever nonsense which i've not seen too much when i've eaten chinese food across the world um so i said ek uh, chili pork dry or ek uh, uh, chicken fried rice and then i said ek uh, uh, coke bhi dena I, i'm not sure whether they gave coke thumbs up or pepsi um, but but i ordered that and then i sat and uh, I, i said a little prayer and said that okay let's hope everything stays good because when i was looking around this didn't really wasn't the sort of place which gave a lot of uh, confidence because remember i'm in jamshedpur uh, not really a, a big town and not uh, one hardly knows anything about his food and there of ordered pork where in any case uh, in india it's sometimes a bit questionable about how the pork is and if it's not fresh you can get an upset tummy but i said okay chodo so it, i had had a long day flight delays uh, drive down from uh, rachi do i did stop for some lovely dehati chicken on the way there was some uh, mess up mess up about my hotel but it was all sorted and i said okay so i was looking around and 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 i saw that more people were coming in and then we tell or told you 10 o'clock was last order well it seems that franks is not last order but the door shuts at 10 and and the locals who knew it were coming in and i saw people of all age groups kids uh, uh, middle aged uh, young folks young, young couples elderly folks walking in men women both both genders and and uh, large groups small groups and and they were all settling down and 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 i felt at that point that franks had exactly the sort of vibe which i which i expect from a restaurant in uh, foodocracy india and do use this hashtag foodocracy india to talk about your favorite restaurants in which were your favorite social media uh, medium which works for you so uh, i could see that there was this uh, 
you know this happy hum happy buzz which was settling of of conversation between people who were waiting for their food and and there was chatter but not too loud like no one was too boisterous but people were talking to it with each other and then in some tables the food were coming and at that point there was that usual clutter when food comes to a mixed group and and, and you know the waiter was helping serve and everyone this that and this thing and then the silence uh, at at the table where the food had arrived as people started eating and and for those who finished eating that look of satisfaction so all this was happening all this was noting uh, and i was noting all of that and i got this feeling that okay this seems like a good place maybe i've not made a wrong choice and then came in the, our waiter like i said not the friendliest of people but he knew his job he he got me my cola uh, and he got me my uh, chicken fried rice he got me my uh, chili pork and and very old calcutta style uh, those plastic containers with soya sauce in it and and vinegar with uh, you know pickled chilies and stuff and and i was transported not even to the 90s to the 80s i would say and and what a wonderful oil of ole santur moment no? for food to make you feel uh, younger so he went and put the food in front of me and i did what uh, no one probably does in franks too much i stood up uh, took the instagram flatly and sat to eat i cut a bit of the pork very apprehensive not sure in jamshedpur how the pork will be it cut like a dream i took a bite oh my god it is so fantastic and and when they say chili pork it is only chili pork so there was pork and not even visible uh, chilies in it it was dark and everything was dark in any case but when you bit into it you could make out this burnt sugar caramelized sugar flavor and and the and the balance of flavors was just right not too much heat not too much salt slight bit of tartness and such untuous uh, pork pieces and those little bit of fat now there are options of without fat and with fat so i i or not with fat without fat and regular so i said with, no, not without fat give me a regular one so i think they take all the fat of the without fat and put it in the regular one and my god i mean those there they were there were belly pieces and leg pieces but those belly pieces with that chorbi or the fat of that uh, pork was so good and and i had it with the fried rice and and the fried rice was made with uh, short grain rice like it used to be in uh, calcutta not not Uh, the basmati which you see today in fact when i make my own fried rice since we normally have basmati at home i use the ladle and if you see pictures on my instagram today i i try, try to mince the rice so that it looks small and not dagger and basmati like so i combine the uh, pork and rice i combine the pork with the rice and it's so good and i'm trying to be a bit uh, conscious when i eat nowadays and not eat uh, too much but i kept eating i kept eating uh, then i took some more rice then i took some more pork Then I thought, okay, what about my cholesterol score? I then I ate a bit more, but it was so good. Then I thought, okay, what am I trying to try glycize? Try, try, then I had dhoot chata. Then I ate some more. It was so good. Uh, I didn't want to waste it, but I was alone uh, that night, and and uh, that was the only meal I had in Jamshedpur where I was alone. So in other meals, I had uh, people with me, and we could try out a lot of stuff. And but Devjani's uh, selection was spot on: uh, chicken fried rice and and. Pork belly, and I kept eating. I kept eating, and then I said, "Okay, Kalyan, like you've had a long day, and and uh, you're 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 now forty uh, five, which is last year. You're you're not like fifteen or twenty five anymore. So, thoda uh, control karo. So then I stopped the pork, but I I still kept having more of the rice because bheto Bengali, right? And I'm hungry, and with the soy sauce and pickled chili and then then the cola, and what a lovely lovely uh, meal it was. What a lovely meal it was. and uh, I, i couldn't pack the rest because i was staying by myself so i finished i i paid and and uh, and surprisingly they used credit cards i think uh, till recently links pavilion didn't and uh, then i walked back to my hotel it was a decent amount of walk so it i i worked off the the all the porky love which i had at franks and the fried rice and and also the important thing about the fried rice is that when i grown up in calcutta uh they would put a bit of soy sauce and sauce while stirring the rice which i've seen in far east as well which means that it can be a one dish meal like in in college when we were tight on funds and sometimes we go to the jimmy's kitchen which had opened in uh, new market we would sometimes uh, two of us share a ham fried rice and we wouldn't need a side dish 
then i came to mumbai and they have only these lily white rice with absolutely no flavor so of course you need a side dish and uh, mumbai is a commerce commercial city so with all the sindhis gujaratis and uh, punjabis running these chinese places they make sure that uh, you'll have to order a uh, side dish with a uh, rice or noodles and and spend more money but but when i make uh, fried rice or uh, noodles at home i always put in a bit of uh, sauces in it like a hokkien mee style of of uh, malaysia or singapore for example and i saw that in and franks and such lovely food my first meal and and who would have thought that uh, young old franks or a good old frank would be uh, giving such wonderful food but that's where i i sort of underestimated frank and and that's why i would uh, want to tell its story in foodocracy india because next day i so i went got back to my hotel and i posted pictures of where i ate and went out to sleep completely tired and i woke up and and there was anarchy there was there was like bedlam on my social media pages because uh, in a good way huh not not trolling it's not twitter it's more instagram and facebook but there were jamshedpurians from all over the world who who grown up in the city and left uh, they were all getting nostalgic and you know air kissing each others and high fiving each others because it seems that everyone who's grown up in uh, jamshedpur had eaten um, in in franks it was a bit like for my wife uh, who's grown up in dadar mumbai and gypsy's kitchen over there like like all famous occasions our uh, family occasions would happen there and and in fact at the tata samvad uh, meet uh, we had a tribal lunch uh, which was curated by the samvad uh, team and and there were some of the top uh, uh, folks of jamshedpur who would come uh, there uh, for the lunch and and one of them was uh, uh, daisy irani uh, the who's uh, mr jj irani's wife and uh, she was sitting opposite me very sweet parsi lady and first of all when uh, they heard i'm married to a parsi they all adopted me and then and then uh, she asked me so where did you eat um, uh, yesterday oh last night your first meal so i said i ate at uh, franks so when she said you ate at franks she said that, okay then whoever was giving you advice on where to eat stick by them because uh, if they recommended franks uh, they've uh, recommended some good places to you now as i always do on foodocracy india i'm opening my laptop and i'm going to show you my blog finallychop.net i hope you follow me there because i'm going to show you a couple of pictures from uh, franks and tell you a bit of the history and story of frank which i got to know later thanks to all the friends which i made in uh, jamshedpur during that trip so uh, this is um, franks like i told you uh, it was established in 1968 but let me tell you my story from 2019 uh, so this is the bengali family i'm telling you about like you can see the elderly ladies in uh, shawl this was november uh, so is the younger lady with him and on and on this side of the young is a young boy uh, taking charge of the orders like probably i would have in the late 1990s when i started working and would take my family out this is uh, the gentleman whom i got to know his name is mr khan and he's working here from uh, years and i'll okay okay so this is my plate so i actually had thumbs up I asked for Coke and Pepsi. Is Jamshedpur? They said no Coke, Pepsi. Eat thumbs up, drink thumbs up. So I had thumbs up. This is the chili pork. The lighting was not very Instagram friendly. Uh, let me sort of try to this thing. This is the fried rice, the chicken fried rice. It is just chicken, just egg. No, no, none of those vegetables and all of that. Uh, had a bit of soy sauce in it and small grain rice. This, like I was telling you, is the chili vinegar and and the soy sauce which I asked for. An excellent quality. uh so i saw so this is what i ate at franks um i i i don't know if i managed to take a picture of myself no no i didn't uh because there was no one really i thought i did i thought i'd ask someone to take a picture uh of myself and uh, let me see let me see if i can uh find you that uh picture but uh, like i told you i made some friends uh while us in um uh, jamshedpur one was sandy singh a uh, food lover who loves going to uh, frank and and then there was uh, gayatri ayer uh, who runs the uh, madrasi hotel which is the oldest restaurant in uh, uh, jamshedpur which is running now and and there they are and and then there was varun gazdar let me show you uh, these guys so that's gayatri that's uh, varun that's madrasi hotel that's me uh, we met met here the day after uh, the thing so frank so Gayatri to uh, introduce me to Eli Chen or El Elipset uh, Chen, uh, whose family uh, now runs uh, uh, Franks and Eli herself lives in Pune. So Gayatri and Varun were also like uh, most young people in Jamshedpur had left the city, but they'd come back 
uh, to run their restaurants and Gayatri hopes that Ellie would someday do that as well. But I, I connected with Ellie on um, Instagram later and Ellie told me that uh, her family runs it uh, and, uh, and, and that the staff has been there for many years. And uh, when I told her about the waiter, she said, oh, that must be Mr. Khan. That, um, you know, the staff have been there, the recipes have been unchanged. And, and I got to know a bit of the history of the place uh, as well from her. So what uh, Ellie told me is that uh, it was in 1968 that um, uh, what is now Frank's was established. And she said a gentleman known as Grandpa Liao uh, was the one who uh, found uh, or started the place in 68. And it wasn't uh, located in its current location at that time. It was more closer to Bishtupur market where I'd gone uh, uh, and, uh, and had some lovely uh, samosas, uh, shingaras and kochuri at uh, Vrindavan Sweets. So, uh, so the original place was over there. And then in 1980, so then grandpa, so she said that in the 60s and 70s, there was a fair bit of immigrant Chinese population in, in Jamshedpur. And then as it happened in Kolkata, a lot of them migrated uh, primarily to Canada. So uh, grandpa Liao's family then uh, sold it over to the Chen's and Eli Chen's father took it over. And 1984 is where they moved to the uh, current location. So grandpa Liao's family was Hakka and, and Eli Chen's family are Cantonese. And, and the dishes which you get uh, uh, in, in um, Frank's, a mix of Hakka and uh, Cantonese home style uh, recipes. And I told you that there was a picture of me at uh, which I got, uh, I think the young gentleman sitting beside me to take it and look at this look at look at how happy how happy i was uh, when i when i finally got the pork and the rice and the and the pepsi uh, sorry my thumbs up because when i saw it i knew i was in a, a good place and twin banerjee is saying that his mom and dad had their first date before marriage he's clarifying in in franks so uh, ellie uh, tells me that um, um, that you get really good quality of pork in around jamshedpur and which i found out later from folks like Sandy and Gayatri and Varun as well and at the Samvad uh, fest uh, we had some excellent quality tribal uh, pork where uh, the pork was sourced locally and that's because apparently in Jharkhand where uh, Jamshedpur is and the area around Jamshedpur a fair bit of pork is uh, consumed so it's it's a really good quality pork which you get there and and she said that um, the way the chili pork is made is that it's double cooked so it's parboiled first and 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 par cooked and and then when the order is placed it's it's test uh, it's tossed in a wok again for the second time uh, like i said double cooked with some caramelized sugar uh, basic soy sauces and and chili and and that's about it so that's that's really the formula of uh, uh, great food at, at frank's chinese uh, a place which you would miss if someone hadn't told you about it but but if you're from jamshedpur uh, you would not miss it for anything because that's such a big part of um, so the city's life and culture especially the Bishtupur area and uh, Ellie in fact told me that her father said one of his uh, rec customers actually called him up and said uh, because of lockdown and everything that look if you don't open Frank's soon I'm going to die <laughs> and, and I can't I can quite uh, believe that we are all missing our favorite restaurants some have started deliveries some have come back but remember uh, that while the lockdown is being uh, relaxed uh, it's it's still uh, the corona is it's not gone anywhere covid has not gone anywhere the folks in the restaurant uh, industry are doing the folks in the restaurant industry are doing everything uh, to keep it safe for us but uh, I, th I think we need to exercise our caution so that is all i had to say uh, in this episode of foodocracy india uh, where i spoke to you about franks and i'm just seeing if baby loaf is around to say hi to you. Franks is in Jamshedpur. Foodocracy India, hashtag Foodocracy India is a hashtag I'm using to talk about my favorite eateries, whatever be the scale uh, across India and, and to sort of uh, give a shout out to all these places where we love to eat and, and it's a play on the word democracy and therefore I say this is where India loves to eat. Uh, I'm doing this for an Instagram live and later I'm going to save it on IGTV and, and Facebook and YouTube and, and share it uh, and, and therefore I'm going to lose uh, your comments uh, later, but I had not been able to address your comments. So I'm going to now see if there's anyone who had commented anything uh, Which is relevant to Frank's and I'm going to talk to that uh, sh sh uh, We have chef uh, Abdullia who is saying that 
he spent a large part of his career working in Park Street in Kolkata. Castor Francis from Calcutta saying that don't forget the salad on top of the Calcutta street food fried rice. Yes, yes, yes. If you have the chow mein in Kolkata in the roll shops, they put the salad which is onion, cucumber, uh, gajor, carrots, soya and chili sauce uh, which they put in uh, the rolls on, on the, uh, the chow as well. And I'm quickly scrolling through to see if there are uh, more comments. Otherwise, I'm going to uh, end this broadcast. My mom's uh, been calling me on the phone. I've been cutting her call. Puneet Singh, a uh, huge fan of your face. Thank you so much. I can see my friend Shomika joined in. Fiona Pujara with whom I've had a chat. Irfan Pavane, chef of Sassy Spoon earlier and, and, and now with uh, Soda Bottle Opener Wala. Great, great chef friend. Tuhin Banerjee, who has roots in Jamshedpur. And, uh, and and his parents had their first date before they were married um, over there. So Tuhin Banerjee's story, in a way, starts at uh, at at Frank's. Uh, Rajesh Rajesh Pali to saying I'm from Jamshedpur and I have to say that all the places you visited during your Jamshedpur trip are simply awesome. My God, guys, I'm telling you that Jamshedpur is really the underrated food destination in India. So to go back and my friend Shashwati, who fed us lovely idlis this morning said this, uh, she loved this blog post of mine and has been waiting to go to Jamshedpur for a food trip. So we'll do that. We'll go to Jamshedpur, we'll go to Frank's, we'll, we'll go to uh, Gayatri, uh, Gayatri's Madrasi Cafe, we'll go to Regal of Varun and, and uh, my condolences to Varun who's lost his father recently. We'll, we'll go to the Milkshake place, we'll go to Vrindavan Sweets, we'll have the Regal uh, Soda, we'll have the, we'll have the uh, dosa on the streets. Uh, we'll have the fuchkas, we'll have all the stuff which I missed at uh, Sakchi, we'll have the rolls, we'll have, we'll have a ball. And, 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 and then, of course, uh, the, there's the D, D Road uh, Shingaras uh, to have. And, and there's a lot, a lot of great food to have in uh, uh, Jamshedpur. There are some uh, goodies which I missed out in, uh, in Sakchi. I'm going to go back there. So I hope you enjoyed uh, today's broadcast of uh, Foodocracy India. Uh, which is on Franks in Jamshedpur's Bishtupur, established in uh, 1968, uh, going strong since then, set up by the Liao family, Grandpa Liao, now run by the Chen family, original family was Hakka, current family is Chinese, dish to order there, which I have tried and I know is superb, is, is the chili pork and the chicken fried rice. And, and why did I do this uh, broadcast today? Because I made uh, chili chicken and fried rice myself and got a bit nostalgic and thought I'll talk to you about it. And I must say that uh, while I've gone back to some of the uh, traditional Chinese restaurants in Kolkata uh, in recent years, including some of the Chinese run ones, I, I think that the quality of chili pork which I had in Jamshedpur, guys from Calcutta don't hold this against me, but I think was <laughs> really top much, probably better than what you get in Calcutta. And, and I know that uh, the, the, the Asian and Chinese eating scene across India has got really revolutionized in the last 5-10 with the Yao Chas, Hakkasan, Royal China, this, that, and you've got international chefs. And of course, uh, you know, the five-star hotels with the Pan Asians, Hyatt and Delhi. Super food, fabulous food, great ingredients, great expat chefs, great sauces. But, but let's not forget all these Chinese restaurants across India, which have really driven the love for Chinese food in, in us. And not just in not just in Kolkata, not just in Delhi, not just in uh, Mumbai or Bengaluru, but all the smaller towns, whether it's uh, Jamshedpur, whether it's Guwahati, whether it's Jaipur, uh, Surat, uh, wherever you go, they will always be uh, a popular uh, Chinatown, uh, Chinese restaurant in, in the central part of the city. Uh, the equivalence of the esplanades over there, where families have gone up and grown up eating uh, over there. So these are the sort of stories which I want to bring to you on Foodocracy India. And I hope you enjoyed it. This is the first day of the week. Have a fabulous, fabulous week and have a fabulous Monday. The lockdown is easing across uh, India, but the virus hasn't gone. So, so uh, please be responsible. Please take all safety precautions. And, and welcome back to all the restaurants who are coming back to work. Uh, please keep uh, take precautions on behalf of your customers. And, and, uh, and I think as customers, we are equally responsible to do it. Uh, and, and if you have a chance to work from home, like uh, which I have, I think I'm going to spend some time uh, more at home uh, still. Thank you so much. This is Kalyan Karmakar signing off from another episode of Food Ocracy India. Today we spoke about Frank's, uh, a Chinese uh, uh, food a restaurant icon from Jamshedpur, a city which recently completed uh, its 100th anniversary, a city which no one really talks of in terms of its food, a city which I'd strongly recommend you to go and try its food over there. Ta-da!